Hampton Institute, located on the banks of Hampton Roads, Virginia, is practically on a 24-hour basis, training hundreds of war workers. The president's home was an old plantation house. Here, one of the country's great educators welcomes foreign students who are sent to learn American customs and culture. Students studying building construction and architecture built most of the buildings on Hampton campus. One of the special war courses is in radio operation and construction. Here, students learn to operate communication centers and thus prepare for specialized duties with the armed forces. Hampton's war program is more than that of trade. Here, a class in chemistry assists an instructor who is doing much research in the development of new war material. Science students are preparing themselves as laboratory technicians and work on special studies for the United States Public Health Service. This student is testing for bacteria in food caused by handling. Because of the urgent demand for trained nurses, Hampton is cooperating with nearby hospitals by providing classroom and laboratory training. Several graduates of ground school classes like this are now flying with the United States Army Air Force Pursuit Squadron at Tuskegee. Others are serving as instructors in other college airfields. While turning out war materials on contract, these students are training to take their places with the nation's skilled mechanics. Step-up courses are offered to men already in war industries, as well as to students, to meet the demand for skilled workers at the nearby shipyards, where more ships than ever before are sent down the waves. Hampton's Agriculture Department has added a course in farm management for women. These girls are planting corn on the college farm as they learn to operate farm equipment. At the student-built dairy farm, girls watch an expert milk a cow. One of the most significant fields of the war program is the study and work in nutrition. Much research has been done with the use of soybeans as a substitute for meat and milk, so important at present when we're conserving these foods for war purposes. Since the war began, many radio programs have been sent over Hampton Station giving the results of research, ways to improve diets, to raise better crops, and how to do our part to win the war are broadcast to thousands of families within reach of this station. Students take a course in surveying and topography to aid them in army training. The Institute Regiment has been in existence since 1868 when Hampton was founded. Cadet uniforms are made by students in the college tailoring classes. Many of Hampton's facilities are now being used by the armed forces. Selected men throughout the country are sent for training as army motor mechanics. After the three months course, these men are usually sent back to their posts in charge of repair crews. Army trucks from nearby camps are soon put in order. The first class in specialized training is now given in Hampton's engineering department for hundreds of men in the United States Navy. Thousands of men and women of these colleges over the nation are now taking their places in our war effort. Physically and mentally fit, 